Hello everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. So after discussing the rational and irrational numbers, maybe you have noticed that some numbers can have a large amount of value or a very small amount of value. Let's say we have the following numbers. 0 0.0064 124 million which is a very large volume 243542.5 and 0 0.000748 which is a very less volume so those number can be written in our scientific notation so that is in the form n, capital letter n, times 10 raised to n, where the, smaller, uh, where the small n is our exponent. So let's say our example number 1 is 0 0.00064. We know that it has a small value or least value. So we can rewrite this as 6.4 times 10 so this is our n 6.4 times 10 then we know that it has a small amount or that is a least number so we move our decimal point one two three four four units to the right but we know that this value has a least or oh, this is a least number or small number so instead of writing 4 here, we're going to write negative 4. Next, 124 million. So that, that can be written as 1.24 times 10. We know that 124 million is a large number. So times 10, we move the decimal point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight. Is it positive or negative? Positive eight. Why? Because this number has a large volume. And this one. This will become two point four three five two five times ten. We move the decimal point one two three four five raised to five. Positive 5 because our decimal point is here and we know that this number has a large volume. And our last example, we know that 0 0.000748 has a small volume. So that will become 7.48 times 10, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for this number, so that is negative. So this will be our scientific notation form. So how about if the given is in scientific notation, we're going to write into decimal form. Let's say we have 6.1 times 10 raised to negative 7. Letter B. 3.124 times 10 raised to 3. Letter C. 5.24 times 10 raised to negative 5. And letter D. 7.241 times 10 raised to 4. We're going to find the decimal form of this scientific notation. So this is raised to negative 7. Raised to negative 7, that means we know that the value of this is small or least. So we're going to move going to the left 7 times. So move. Seven times, starting from the decimal point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then put period. Then fill the following 
into zeros. So that will become zero point, how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then copy 61. This will be the decimal form. Next, 3.124 times 10 raised to 3. Positive 3. That means in writing decimal, given this problem, this will give us a big value. So we're going to move our decimal point to the right. So three times. One, two, three. Then our decimal will be here. So the equivalent is three, one, two, four. It is understood that our decimal point is located here, so it's okay not to write our decimal point. Next, 5.24 times 10 raised to negative 5. So negative 5, if we're going to write into decimal form, that will give us a least value. So we're going to move the decimal to the left. So 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And write period, then fill this to zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0 0.1234, then we have 5, 2, 4. Let's copy 5, 2, 4. And our last example, 7.241 times 10 raised to 4. So positive 4, we're going to move our decimal point to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're going to add 0 here. So 7, 2, 4, 1, then 0. This will be our answer. We're done in scientific notation. So this will be your last lesson for the first quarter for all grade 7. You're now ready to answer your modules. Then please share this video to your classmates. So we have playlists in our channel so that you can easily search your topics. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and see you in your second quarter.